In this video, we'll be exploring the use of output expressions. Output expressions allow you to define your own formulas. This is quite useful when the underlying data model doesn't quite have the type of logic that you're after. For the example, I'll be using the query mode summary report, the product AdventureWorks, and the table sales order header. First, I'll create a report that shows the orders over time using the order date and the total due. The order date I'll modify to show the year of the order and the month of the order. I'll do this by changing the output attributes of order date so that it just retrieves the year and I'll change the caption of the output to year. I'll drag order date out again and I'll modify this just like here except this time I'll choose month and rename the caption to month. Next I'll select one of the outputs and go to the sorting tab and make sure that the report is sorted by year, then month, and preview the report. You can see that the report is grouping the total due by years and months. The first expression I'll create will transform the month, which is currently a number, into a descriptive month. I can do this by going to the output section, right clicking and selecting add expression. This will bring us into the expression tab. Because we'll be turning the date into a descriptive date, I'll change the data type to text. Then you will see there's a series of folders at the bottom of the screen and under functions I've got a folder called dates. Let's select Convert to Date. The first parameter is the year, and what we'll do is use the year from the current row for this parameter. And for the month, we'll use the month in the second column. And because we're not interested in days, we'll set that to the first of each month. The next step is to convert this into a descriptive month. So I'll go back to the list and I'll choose the formatting for, for months and replace the now with the date that we set up previously. Now that my formula is ready, I'll go to the general tab and rename the column. Call it month description. Let's preview those results. You can see now that we have in the first column the number and now the description for the month. This, the second column where the numbers for the months are displayed, this is important for the sort order of the data as expressions cannot be sorted on the server side. But we don't want the month number to appear in the final report. So let's go back and hide the second column. On the general tab, there's a hidden checkbox. Let's select that and preview the report again. The next expression I'll create is a running total over the third column, which is total due, so that as each month goes by, the total will accumulate. Right click on the output section and select Add Expression again. Go to the General tab and rename the caption to Running Total. 
and click OK. Because we'll be using the expression in its own formula, we need to set the name first. Go back in and set the data type to currency. Delete the sample formula and go down to current row and double click on total due. The total due will be added to the previous value of this expression, which is running total. Put a plus between the two. So the formula reads, take the previous running total and add the total due to it. Let's preview these results. You can see now that the running total is gradually becoming larger as we go down the report. Next, I'd like to modify the, the running total so that on the change of the year, we'll restart the running total. In this way, I can show you how to use conditional logic. Go back to the running total expression and open up functions and under the conditional folder, you'll find a IIF statement. We'll use this IIF statement to detect when the year column has changed. Just double click on that and you can see that the first parameter is the condition. And the condition is if the current year is different to the previous year, then we want to show the total due. Otherwise, we'll continue with the running total of the total due. Let's preview these results. You can see now that the running total is accumulating until the change of the year, at which time it resets. Of course, the condition statement can be applied in any context to any formula. Next, I'll create an expression that ranks the, the sales by month so that if, for example, the sales are below 2 million, it gives a result of check. And, and as the sales go higher, the rating becomes better. Go back to the output pane and right click and select Add Expression. We'll call this expression ranking and the result will be text. If I open up the functions again you'll see that there is one called switch and what this does is it allows me to compare a value against many others and then return a result. These results can be of any data type at all but in this case I'll be returning words so I've set the data type to text. I've pre-prepared a switch statement which I'll paste in. In this switch statement my value that I'm comparing against is true and I have a series of conditions. If the total due is below 2 million return the word check and if it's between 2 million and 4 million OK and then finally good and anything above 6 million will return the word excellent. This last parameter is the default. Let's run the statement now and you can see that the ranking has returned different words based on the total due. As you can see, expressions are quite powerful and allow you to do conditional lo logic over many different data types, whether they're dates, strings, or numbers. 
but on occasions you may find that, for example, Excel formulas are adequate for the task, as formulas can even be embedded in tables in Excel. But that concludes the overview of output expressions.